Coming up next, it's a featherweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Bruce Leroy Alex Caceres. So here he is, the number one featherweight contender for a long time. This man believed he was the number one 145 pound fighter on the world. He's called out the champion for a long time. Now he's got the winning streak, the finishes to position himself for the title shot. We will see what he can do with it. Well, how about the pop as the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion works his way to the octagon here tonight. Yet another title defense is what's in front of him. He is healthy, he is ready to prove that all the featherweights below him are just that, below him for a reason. He believes he is the champion for a reason. He believes he should be mentioned with the all-time greats. And that is what is at stake for him here tonight. Another title defense, another chance to prove that he is one of the greatest 145-pound fighters this octagon has ever hosted. And now our tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC featherweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 13 losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the challenger, Alex Bruce Leroy Cassara. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC featherweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fight. They touch him up, and we are underway. Trying to take him down. Oh my goodness. Uh -huh. And you laugh just like that because you know how much of a joke this is. You want to avoid the grappling with this guy at all costs. I know he has the body. I know he has a big ego. But it would benefit him to fight this fight and make it as easy as possible. Focus, focus. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Wow, 
body kick. Effective strike there by Caceres. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Big body kick. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. And he landed the right hand there. Slips the punch. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Caceres gets hit with a kick. Switching stances here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. I mean, the hand speed just absurd. Attempt now blocked though by Lee. Looked like Caceres might have just missed with that right hand. Throws the right hand there. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Both guys landing at a pretty decent clip. Nice loop and punch. Sneaky head kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Blocks the shot. The guard lands the right hand. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Just unable to quite find that range. How good is that right hand? There's a kick to the body, not having that one blocked by Caceres. Ooh, big shot lands. Looked like he was in range for the counter. He's been trying to set that up. Unable to land there. Right hand is there for Bruce Leroy. That one got Bruce Leroy's attention. Nice, sneaky hit kick. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Just missing on the high kick there. Hook is there again. Just out of range with that strike. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbow to the side. Otherwise, it's gonna land one. That's gonna shut everything down. Good series of punches. Oh. There, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. What is that? Please, if you can hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Huh. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. <laughs> round two here.
Nice punch by Caceres. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. He slips. Can't take many of those. You better check. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. Just missed with the straight left hand. Nice leg kick lands. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Outstanding kick there by Caceres, man. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. He didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing it. He doesn't have any tell when he's going to throw a knee. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Harris gets hit by that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Just over three. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Trying to establish that jab once again. of himself into the big leg kick. Oh, oh there he lands him. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about two. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Lee. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Right now, it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. He needs to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. Getting tighter. of this young fighter. You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game. 
that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So the celebration is officially on now for the UFC featherweight champion, and why not? What a way to get the job done tonight by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to arm triangle choke and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Alex Bruce Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. We have a new UFC featherweight champion. You didn't necessarily see this coming a mile away, but you thought maybe he could get it done, and, and man, did he ever tonight. You knew that he was tough, but you knew how good our champion was going into the fight. But tonight, he believed, man. He believed that he had the skill to get the job done, and he did exactly that. Congratulations to the new UFC champion.